Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with a layout share. Um, on Tuesdays, I don't have a, a regular uh, video series, so <laughs> I'm taking the chance to go ahead and do a, a layout share now. Um, I think there are 15, 16 pages in this, uh, and I guess the earliest one goes back to the 11th of the month. And I can see here, I need to glue down this border sticker. Seems to be wanting to come up and not stick. So a little liquid adhesive there and, and I pulled up a flower sticker. I, I wonder why some of the stickers don't stick and some do. Anyway, one of the great mysteries of scrapbooking, eh? Uh, this is a, um, let's see, I'm gonna go by this. This is a Scrap Squad Sunday page. And this was the original right here. And I kind of went um, overboard <laughs> on, on mine. The two photos, which you might have a hard time finding on the page, are of the only fall color that we get in the backyard. We have trees that turn yellow, and then the next day the leaves are all gone. So there, it's not a, a fall color experience like um, in some parts of the country. So I'm gonna toss that. Um, this used, I think everything on here was from um, uh, the October Mind the Scrap kit. And there were several different sticker sheets and ephemera packs involved. I know that these frames are from Pink Fresh and they may not have come in the kit. They may be a part of, from my stash. But this background paper the grid that had the floral down here actually provided a nice background for everything else. And then following the, um, the original on the scrap lift, I added this polka dot paper and used border stickers from the sticker sheets. And as you can see, there's having a little stickage problem. Okay, so moving that over this is a, um, uh, it is a premium sketch, one of the uh, subscription sketches over at Scrap a Sketch. And I kind of used paper blocks and, and various, um, well, not paper blocks, but uh, bits of, it's all from 49 and Market. And these are, um, this is the bottom half of this. These are, it's not exactly ephemera. It's kind of just um, uh, layering bits that you get with uh, uh, some of their collections. And so I've used a lot of those around. And I, I had only partial um, uh, these were both halves or, or bits of, um, of the Viewmaster reels. So I added these flowers. These flowers are from a Pink Fresh collection. So, and it's a silly photo of the, the guys stopped in front of my childhood bakery <laughs> in my little tiny town in Louisiana, Rudox Bakery. Okay. <laughs> This is a, um, a Bramble Fox challenge to use paper snips. And what I'm trying to figure out is, and, and I used paper snips throughout and these are Bramble Fox dies that I cut the little circles out and Bramble Fox stencils. This, there are three different stencils here. 
So this is definitely a Bramble Fox page. And I absolutely love this little camera and I've been hoarding it. I love the, the title today was rated excellent. And I like that it's a kind of a different color from everything else there. So, and, and that's on really thick, nice yellow cardstock that came in a Mind the Scrap kit. So I'm, I'm happy with that page. I love that page. And those are not my kids. You may, may not recognize those kids. Those are the children of a friend of mine. And she had these beautiful fall photographs. And I don't have that many fall color photos in my, uh, in my albums, in my, what do you, I guess, I haven't taken that many fall color photographs. So she let me scrap her kids. <laughs> so thank you. And this one is, was a, um, uh, using a, a sketch that was provided by Jennifer Gang, uh, Gagne, Jen Gagne, and and what I'm trying to see is how, okay, it was her 2,000 subscriber celebration, and it, uh, the, the, her original sketch was very, you know, kind of serene and, and lovely and beautiful, and I made kind of a crazy, um, Halloween page out of it. This is a um, 49 and Market background, and I, I love this side of it, but this side kind of worked with the sketch, and I like the print that's kind of showing through. I did some splattering in uh, the lime green there, and I splattered the, the letters with lime green. But, and it's it's showing my son dressed as Wayne of Wayne's World for Halloween. That's what greeted trick-or-treaters at our house this year. <laughs> this is a, um, <laughs> a goofy picture of Reese. And this was for Thankful Thursday. And uh, Thankful Thursday, I'm definitely thankful for this little goofy girl. And I used some... Um, corrugated just to back up these uh, segments here and tore the bottom. And I saw that on another layout. I couldn't tell you who did the layout or when, but uh, it's one of those things that I kind of stored away. And I love the matte denim uh, perspective there. And these are Vicki Booten butterflies. I think there are about three or four different Vicki Booten collections on here, and I believe these leaves are Paige Evans. So <laughs> I've kind of got a mix of, of two of my favorite designers there. Um, <laughs> this is a page filled with lots of uh, Bramble Fox goodies, and I believe this was the Bramble Fox Challenge. For the challenge this month, we scrap lifted Wendy Meffin, and this is her original. And you can see this is another Paige Evans paper. So this was my challenge team post. And I've got the title of it is 24-7-365, which I believe that those perspectives came in a set that was released, I believe, during COVID, and it, it kind of referred to the lockdown um, terminology. But uh, all of these are, are uh, what I'm gonna call historical perspectives. I used these, um, I used a stencil to get the watery waves look and the, some more Paige Evans papers, and these florals are pink fresh. And the photo is of me in the pool doing my physical therapy session, which I will be doing later today. <laughs> this is, I believe, 
a mixed media mayhem and the recipe was watercolor stamps and splatters. So I used watercolor. Where are this? Yeah, okay. I used watercolor for this background, this kind of swath of, of color behind everything else. And my stamps are these stitched circle-y bits. There are three of them there. And splatters, there are um, the kind of pink and gold. And I got a few of the gold on here. And I love this photo because you can see the back of John's little bald head there. And these ephemera and uh, the the butterfly and the um, uh, film strip are all from 49 and Market. Everything's from 40. Well, this is Obed Marshall, so <laughs> so there's that. Um, <laughs> this, I believe, was another, um, well, no, this is Mini Paper Madness. So, uh, we have a once a month, um, hop where we use our small paper pads that are smaller than 12 by 12. And I have some really pumped up color in these photos of the kids photographing sunset. And this is... Uh, a photograph of sunrise as we were going into Barrett's graduation. And this was after graduation when Barrett was walking around with us with his uh, sister and brother. And, and if you are not familiar with his brother, it's his half brother on his mother's side. And so we don't really get to see that much of Lyndon. So he doesn't make it into my scrapbook pages very often, but he was there that day. And I used a wild collection of um, small paper pads and I used bits of them down here. I used these envelopes. This is a, just a bunch of stuff from my Scrap Backwards kit on a Halloween paper to give it that, you know, kind of cracked glass looking uh, black background. I, I, I like this page. It's it, and these are some pink fresh florals. Uh, this is a Scrap Squad Sunday, and I love tags and I love using tags like the original used tags. So I just went to town, had a wonderful time. These are all, all well, these four are pages from a six by six paper pad um, that came in a mind the scrap kit. And then this is a, uh, I, I die cut these tags. This was die cut from a 49 and market pattern paper. And I wanted to get this line, specifically to get this line of color blocks on my tag. All of these are Bramble Fox perspectives uh, and these little fabric leaves are also Bramble Fox. Um, I have a couple of little squirrels in there for Baby Squirrel. And these are some uh, pumped up color in these photos of Ava with leaves. In actuality, if you look at the original, um, that's a kind of a, a, a blah looking wood grain uh, fence. And the leaves are all brown. and and Ava's jacket is just black and white, and that's a little blue t-shirt. But with the filter I used, you get a, a lot of color, and the photos kind of stand out. And to pick up on the all the color kind of thing, I used these half-inch strips. They're uh, branding strips from a, um, a Paige Evans um, pattern paper. So I love this page. I just, I love those photos. And this one, <laughs> another one of Reese, where I pumped up the colors and then <laughs> matched the papers to, to go with it. Um, none of this makes sense. There was nothing to do with kites. There was nothing to do with umbrellas, nothing to do with cotton candy um, vendors, uh, but just, uh, it looked like she was in timeout <laughs> or jail. 
and and so I called it timeout. This the this is the uh, uh, A and B side of a winter pattern paper. This is Paige Evans, and I don't know what that is. It looks like Maggie Holmes from the reverse side. It, it came in on mine, the scrap kit. These are Vicki Booten hibiscus. Uh, these are um, a pink fresh hibiscus, and that's a pink fresh. <laughs> um, for the, this envelope actually came in a um, uh, class kit from um, Redefine Creative. So there's there's kind of a mix on this page. Uh, this one is a crazy page. It's um, I I it was a, a it's the thankful Thursday that actually fell on Thanksgiving Day. And I have the journaling here uh, typed up, and I've got uh, that ephemera on it so that it kind of you can pull it out even when it's in the the um, page protector. The photo is the last Thanksgiving that that uh, John was alive, and. I was making uh, stuffing for him. He loves stuffing. That's probably, that was probably his favorite um, uh, part of the Thanksgiving meal. And the Thanksgiving meal was his favorite meal of, of all time. So I, I had just taken the breadcrumbs out of the oven. They were toasted and I was letting them cool and he was watching sports. It doesn't look like, that looks like a news program, but um, he was either watching sports or getting ready to watch sports. And I, this is kind of a long view down there. There's the, the kitchen counter here, and then it, it goes over, there's kind of a platform, and there's a little half bath that you can go up to there. There's the dining room, and then the living room, and, and so it's all open. And of course, all of this was craft supply storage, and, and there's a stationary bicycle. So um, I, I like the photo because it, it has a lot of stuff in it, but this part wasn't all that interesting. And there, in one of my the scrap kits came this collection of ephemera from a, the What's Cooking collection by Simple Stories. And it was in a color scheme that I don't normally use, and this pink cardstock kind of came with it. So I decided it's all kitchen cooking images. Why not just use the whole pack? And I think I used all but two pieces on this page. And it's just wonderful. I like that I went across the page there, and, and I like the big doily, and. And I love the photo, and I like the hidden journaling. Um, this page expressed <laughs> how thankful I was to have cooked for that cute guy for 40 years. So there. Uh, this was a Mixed Media Mayhem um, and Pink Fresh Friday combination. This was the original by Secrets and Creations, and this was what I did. <laughs> there was this pink polka dotted background, and I went over it with a combination of clear and white gesso. I loosely stamped on it by holding the stamp with my hands and, and getting different, and, and, and up to that point, I was kind of happy with it. The, um, the the floral the the partial floral images are in pink like you can see here and some are in an army green and i was using army green because barrett is is this was taken at uh, family day for his graduation it's a picture of him and his girlfriend sky and i liked it up to that point but then at some point when i was doing some uh splattering and blending it got to have this big area of mud and this one. And, and it's not mud, it's a color I intentionally used, but when it did that, it kind of looked like 
the mud that you get when you blend colors that are opposites on the color wheel. So I, I tried splattering some other colors and then I tried stamping and it still kind of looked messy to me, but I hear that Barrett and Sky like it. So who am I to say? <laughs> I, I, I like it because I love that photo of the two of them. And that was a wonderful day. This was uh, Christmas in November, uh, the page that we do for that. And this is uh, all pink fresh stuff from um, the surprise box that I bought. And I love, this was the uh, two sides of the same paper. And then I seamed it together. This is a Paige Evans pattern paper, the green polka dot. And I just used the envelopes that the photo's kind of coming out of. It's an old picture that was taken on Christmas Day of uh, John and me and Ava and Barrett and Katie and Allie. And I just kind of arranged things all from the same collection. So uh, it was easy to coordinate. And my favorite part of the whole thing is how the Noel goes off. There's a tag underneath an envelope and they're going in two different directions. And the Noel kind of goes off like that. I don't know why I like that. And that red, that big pop of red down here really balances the red up there. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite Christmas pages I've ever made. Then we get to this. <laughs> this was Simple Stories Saturday. And I dug into my Simple Stories collection and mostly Carpe Diem here. And this page, the background is a summer collection from like 2013 or 2012. Uh, in the Carpe Diem collection was a cut apart that had the, this quote from Robin Williams out of uh, Dead Poets Society. Carpe Diem sees the day, make your life extraordinary. And I love this photo of Barrett playing basketball on on a cold winter's day back uh, in a, on, a, uh, on a wood deck where we had this little goal for him. And I just used different uh, scraps and, and fussy cut balloons and hearts and umbrellas. Again, no particular reason for any of those things to be there. So those are all older um, Simple Stories collections. And the frame is from a newer one. I forget what collection it's from. And I don't have the package here. Or do I? Anyway, uh, it's a travel collection, but it this was an a fairly neutral uh, sort of frame. And it just fit the photo perfectly. I hadn't planned it that way, but uh, but it did. That worked out great. And I don't know what collection that came from, but I think there are about four collections represented there. This was the original for a Scrap Squad Sunday, and it's a lift of Carla Dower uh, on a page that she did for Click International. And I looked at it and I thought, oh no, not triangles. And then I thought, okay, well, this looks like about a 10 by 10. So why don't I cut a 10 by 10 square and then mark the middle and, and do equilaterals. And then I'll figure out, yeah, it looks like maybe a six by six, maybe that's a four by four, and maybe this one's a three by three. So I cut squares of these patterns, and these are all cocoa Vanilla uh, Happy Days patterns. I think this floral is from Sunkissed, and maybe one of the patterns is from Sunkissed, but it's all cocoa Vanilla. 
and I had kind of figured out what I was going to do with the triangles. I had no idea what photo I was going to use. And she has a small black and white photo there. I ended up using this larger um, color photo of James with Reese on Thanksgiving Day as we were watching Fargo while waiting for the turkey to finish. And <laughs> I love the look on Reese's face and I love the I love the love <laughs> that that James was including. I took about 10 shots, and this was the one I used for here. I'm probably going to do another page where I use all of the shots because it's kind of a progression, and uh, I just have to get them kind of cropped and ready to go. And this is another one of Reese. I've got a lot of Reese in there, don't I? Um, it's, um, uh, Scrap Backwards Monday, right? Yeah, it was Scrap Backwards Monday. It was the one that went live yesterday. And I had this torn piece of, um, washi. It's 49 and Market washi from their, uh, country living collection. Uh, I forget what the name of the collection is. It's the one that had all the chickens on the previous page I showed you. And, but I had a chipboard and stickers and ephemera from um, Mind the Scrap Kits. And these border stickers are from there. These are the, the little uh, animal tracks and the monkeying around uh, are from an old Mind the Scrap Kit. And this bird and something else in here are from a basic gray sticker sheet that's in my kit. These are, are either little folders. I guess there is a fold. This is a folder. And you open it up and there's a few little things. There's an envelope and some leaves sticking out of it. And uh, so it's kind of... Um, uh, Oh, a mishmash sort of a page. And, oh, the hearts are from Basic Gray, from a, a sticker, an old sticker sheet. That's from a, an old Mind the Scrap sticker sheet. And it's just a goofy photo of Reese looking out the backyard, probably watching uh, deer and chipmunks, which are plentiful back there, and they because the leaves are, have all lost, or the trees have all lost their leaves, you can kind of see better back there. And, and of course, I've filtered that to make it look like we had fall color. Those are solid yellow. <laughs> and, and look how it pumped up the color of these stuffed toys in the foreground. So that's my group of pages. And as you know, I've got some medical stuff going on. And so my, um, um, the regularity of my um, pages may change. I, it may not. I, I have a. I had two procedures scheduled that were going to interfere with my being able to scrap, and both of those are going to have to be postponed in order for me to have another procedure. And I don't know what, how long the other procedure will. I don't know when it's going to happen, and I don't know how long it's going to sideline me for. So I'll try to keep you posted, and um, I will see you next time, whenever that is. Thanks for watching. Bye.